bathroom. And sleep. I, uh, so yeah, this is uh, the basic structure of the game is you travel, you, you'll get to see the uh, sort of setup that you missed from the previous day at the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, you wake up in the morning and you head out to the car. And then you pick a route to travel to the next point in the journey, the next border crossing. The car is turned around now because the game didn't bother saving your parking job. <laughs> Good morning. I trust you slept well. We should head to the border. Oh, don't forget to pick a route before we uh, cross. Alright. So. This is our guidebook. So we are in uh, the Czech and Slovak Federative Republic going from Dresden to Storovo. Route 1 is 350 kilometers in the rain. It has a gas station. Route Two is 210 kilometers. Actually, just a second. I'm going to go check the manual to see if it has any information on these symbols. The car manual. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm, no, it, it doesn't. All right. Um, I haven't read that book, but at some point I will. All right, so... We can go 350 kilometers in the rain, we can go 210 kilometers shortly after the rain, and it looks like potholes. Or we can go 350 kilometers shortly after the rain. So, I think I'm going to pick the shortest route, and uh, just go directly there. I feel as if the shorter distance you drive, the less you pay in gas and stuff. So, just makes sense. Make them. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I we came in over there, so I'm guessing that the checkpoint is on the other side of town. Here it is. And they let you know what is and is not contraband. So, you're not allowed to bring cigarettes into the CSFR. You can, but you're not allowed to, and you get in trouble if they catch you. Makes sense. That is how a lot of laws work. <clears throat> Papers, please. Yeah. No, that's a different game. <laughs> it is. In Papers, Please, you're on the other end of the, the, the whole checkpoint thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like you should have known that uh, this wasn't Papers, Please. That, that. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> I have played both games, so... Uh... Yes, I do. I do. I, I, sh I should definitely uh, be, have been aware of this. Yeah, I'm going to leave the window open. It's a nice day. Or it isn't, but I'm just going to leave it open for variety. That's a horrible day, but meh. <laughs> yeah, it builds character. The the, the cold wind uh, in your in your ears. I, I just crashed into the into the guardrail. Like, literally right in front of the guard at the guard post. 
That's just kind of embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Not my proudest moment. How to say, not my proudest moment. Anyway. Um. Twice. Twice. Whatever. We've made it past the most dangerous part, which is right in front of the guard station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the rest of the... Made... Huh? The most dangerous part. Me driving. Okay, we haven't made it past the most dangerous part, but we, 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 we've made it past the most dangerous part of the most dangerous part. Sorry, my brain decided to uh, finish that with... Gee, brain! <laughs> What's the most dangerous part? Of most dangerous part! <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's the part where I crash into the guardrail. Uh, right. Are you pondering what I'm pondering, Pinky? I think so, brain. But me and Mick Pippi Longstocking, what would the children look like? Oh, that was interesting. We'll have more borders to deal with in our journey. Be careful what you try to take over the border. If they find illegal goods, we'll be fined. You drive us to Sorovo Stur today. It's a border crossing into Hungary. Yeah, if there's going to be mud patches, I'm rolling up the window. Oh, hey, the engine noise is a lot quieter than with the window rolled up. Who could have guessed? <laughs> This is a weird game to stream because it's just very slow and sedate. I'm, I'm sorry, I've just got the Pinky and the Brain song really stuck in my head. Sorry. So I'm just like. Da -da 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 That's just my mind now. I'm sorry, Fat Bat. You must go on without me. I, I can turn on. I, I, I could turn on the radio. Um, I've got the sound off. I can't listen to the sound oh. because I'm in, I'm in... on stream with you. Oh. I mean, I could turn it on anyway, but I guess it wouldn't help. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on, come on. It's possible to upgrade your car with bigger engines, more powerful engines, but uh, it costs money, so I haven't done that. Oh no, not money. I mean, we need that money to pay for our motel rooms and gasoline and repairs, because I ran into the guardrail. <laughs> Um, I was watching a God. What's the name of the guy? He does lots of the maths guy on YouTube. Uh, no, the person from Number File. Yeah. Um, stand up maths. Oh, oh, Matt Parker. Matt Parker. Yeah. Um, I was watching a video he and someone else did had done on. Um, 
the mathematics of Monopoly. Yeah. And I was very happy when at the end they were both just like, look, I do think we have to face the fact that Monopoly is just a terrible game. Yeah. I mean, I know people like it, but yeah. I can't explain why. Oh, wow. Um, I think we'll have to just accept the fact that people are wrong and have wrong opinions about things. It does happen. I forgot how many white birch trees there were in this country. Quite wonderful to have them passing as we drive. I find it a little bit odd because, like, they look so much like Minecraft birch trees. Nope. We can't stop here. to his Minecraft country. <laughs> yes. I mean, we can, and if I see anything to salvage, I will. But it, it, it might be Minecraft country. <sighs> this car is going to be so muddy. So here's a thought regarding tires. Oh, mm. Oh, go, go ahead, Uncle. Uh, don't don't mind me. Um, you had a thought regarding tires. Ooh, I don't want to be going quickly downhill in the mud on road tires. Is that your thought? What did we just hear? I just heard uh, some kind of weird rattling noise. Ah. Okay. I hear my humans say goodnight. They walk me off the bed. They look at me expectantly. I slowly rest my head. <laughs> Is that from... I, I haven't it's, actually seen any of the pinky stuff. No, it's uh, a cat on Twitter called Curious Loader. Ah. Huh. It's a building over there. Hmm. I'm not going to raid some... Presumably somebody's farm or something. I'm not going to... Burglary seems like a step beyond simply picking up the fruits of the road. I did a jump, I heard a splat. I feel alright, but now I'm flat. Ah. There are a lot of potholes on this road. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I just burst a tire. In fact, I think we've just made it to town. And the car is... still moving. So here's a thought regarding tires. Alright, uh, go on, Uncle. We've been on the road for only a short time now. But we need to stay on top of tire maintenance. If we get a flat tire, our cheapest option is to jack the car up and repair it with a tire repair kit. You should be able to find these at any petrol station or market. So keep in mind, it's only a temporary solution.
Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the, our motel to the left. It looks like there's a market beyond it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the market and then swing back to the motel. Have you considered a cat? A cat? Yeah. Like, not having one, just the concept of a cat in general. Occasionally? I I feel like a cat would be very useful in the situation, um, as probably one could drive this car better than I could. Um... Oh, if um, you could get some money by, like, having a Twitter account, which is, like, you know, a cat on a, um, cat on a road trip. Oh, yes, that would be another way to get money. I don't think in the universe of this game Twitter exists yet, though, so that would be an obstacle. But how did they get presidential announcements if they didn't have Twitter yet? I think they just expected people to read the newspaper or listen to the radio or whatever. And if you didn't, then you Man. just missed out on everything. What a world where you're not connected to everything literally 100% of the time. It's very strange. I like this method of cleaning where you throw the sponge against the car <laughs> and it becomes clean. Yes, it, it's, it's unorthodox but efficient. It is, it's very efficient. And it saves the uh, creators of the game a lot of art asset creation. Hey. Animations. Sponge dries out incredibly quickly. I guess that's the price of efficiency. Also, you are magically cleaning like entire sections of car. Yes. So, so it's not really that slow. No. Okay, these tires are really on their last legs, aren't they? You gotta do the sensible thing and do stuff. I mean, it seems appropriate. Alright. Uh, blee, blee, blee. Okay. So. Engine's a little bit damaged. The air filter's a little bit damaged. The carburetor's a little bit damaged. <laughs> Fuel tank is fine, but almost empty. The battery is fine. The water tank is fine, the You're fine. ignition is fine, I'm fine, my uncle's fine. We have enough money that we can probably afford to buy gas. So 
so I think we should be good to to continue on tomorrow. Just need to make sure we take care of things. All right. All right. Let me put a little bit of oil in the fuel mix. And then we can look into buying some supplies. This oil can... Huh. This bottle of oil is empty. Okay. This oil empty. Yeet. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to be strategic about it. I'm going to... I'm going to go sell an empty bottle to the store because apparently they like bottles. Ah, the yeet of monetization. Yes. Alright, so I need a bottle of oil. If they have any tires that are any good, that'd be good. So they have... This one is a hard compound, this one is a soft compound, this one's a medium compound, this one's a medium compound. I'll go ahead and grab two medium compound tires, and uh, yeah. I have the two spare tires I brought from home, so that'll... That'll give us four fresh tires. I'll go ahead and buy two tire repair kits. So when the new tires burst, I don't have to buy tires immediately. Uh, and I want to buy an engine repair kit because the engine's busted. A little bit busted. Should be able to fix it with a repair kit. All right. Okay. Uh, let me grab my wallet. And then I can get to work on uh, getting everything uh, up and running again. repair kit and the oil first. We'll fix the engine, we'll add oil to the fuel, and then we'll come back for the tires and see about replacing our four tires. All right. All right, so engine is top priority. Followed by the carburetor. The air filter. And that's about as much repair as we can get out of that kit. So, alright. Fuel up to lean oil mix, optimal mix. You know what? I crashed so much that it almost doesn't matter. I'll just leave it at optimal fuel mix. <laughs> soft compound road tires. Uh, I'm going to put one on each front wheel. Uh, and I have the two medium compound tires I just bought and I'll put those on the rear. So a little bit of extra grip in the front and the rear tire shouldn't need replacing as quickly.
Alright. Jack and get to work. Don't worry, Uncle, we'll be back to the motel pretty soon. that tire. Put on the new one. Tighten down the bolt. All right. That's two tires replaced. side. pile with the other old ones. Yeah. They won't pay anything for these. So this is me changing the tires. Uh, jalopy. Mm. It, is, it is a game. I think I call it more walking, uh, driving simulator. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, okay, yeah. Alright. <sighs> Wait. I forgot to pick up the tire repair kits. So I was going to leave <gasps> those in the trunk. So that I could repair tires. Should the occasion arise. Here, here they are. Get a flat, we can fix. Because we will have little patches. Hmm. Actually. 
actually. Let me see if I can scoot things around. It fits a little bit more neat. Alright. Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, and to the motel. Okay, good. Let's check in. Alright. Uh... Excuse you, please do not physics glitch the car while I'm still in it. <laughs> That's very rude. <laughs> Okay, at least you didn't break anything. But, yeah, no, that's rude. Okay. Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? It's 20 for the room. You'll be staying in room 2B on the second floor. Kindly ask you not to disturb other guests during your stay. Come, you can let me into the room. All right. This is the first time in the time I've spent playing this game that they put me up on the second floor instead of the first floor. Mm -hmm. So, it's a novel experience is going up here. And here it is, room 2B. Okay, I need to have my wallet with me. Okie dokie. I'm just stuck in the bathroom to freshen up. And... Off to bed.